Good afternoon. We're going to start this hour with some breaking news. And the Bibi Stockholm barge, which has been used to house hundreds of migrants, is to be closed. The Home Office has said that the contract will not be renewed past January of 2025 as part of the government's plan to deal with the asylum backlog. Well, let's bring our chief political correspondent, John Craig, for more on this afternoon to you, John. So the government plan to close the barge, housing asylum seekers to deal with the backlog. Well, it, critics have said it's been a white elephant from the start. It's been beset by problems, legionnaires, disease, all sorts of problems, and a lot of local opposition too, not least from councillors down in Dorset. Uh, yesterday in the House of Commons, uh, Yvette Cooper, the Home Secretary, said that uh, Rwanda's scheme had cost £700 million, uh, and that's been being scrapped, as we know from the Prime Minister on his first news conference on the Saturday after the election. Uh, now the government's talking about saving uh, uh, about uh, uh, seven points. This is all part of saving £7.7 .7 billion. The announcement, actually, they're debating uh, Home Affairs in the Commons at the moment, but this has come via a statement from the new Home Office Minister, Immigration Minister, uh, or the, uh, the Minister for Border Security and Asylum, Dame Angela Eagle, making a comeback into government. Um, in the statement making the announcement, the Home Office has said this. Ending the use of the Bibby Stockholm forms part of the expected £7.7 .7 billion of savings in asylum costs over the next 10 years as the Home Secretary takes action to restart asylum caseworking, clear the backlog and remove those with no right to be here. It goes on. Extending the use of the Bibby Stockholm would have cost over £20 million next year. The barge will continue to be used until January 2025, but there'll be no continuation of the contract uh, beyond that. And uh, Angela Eagle says that the government's determined to restore order to the asylum uh, system. Uh, so that it operates swiftly, firmly and fairly and ensures the rules are properly enforced. So, gradually, the Tory policy on asylum is being completely dismantled and scrapped by the new Labour government. 